Just like us. Just like us. It is 836. Today marks the 40th anniversary of one of the most iconic home runs in baseball history. But did you know it also made television history? It changed the way you watch sports on TV. It was tied in extra innings of the World Series. As always, the director instructed the camera guy in the left field scoreboard to follow the ball, follow the action. And that's when cameraman Louis Girardi said, I can't. I've got a rat on my leg that's as big as a cat. It's staring me in the face and I can't move. So the director said, OK, stay on the hitter. Game six, bottom of the 12th, tied at six. Reds and Red Sox, 1975. Carlton Fisk steps to the plate. There it goes, a long drive. If it stays fair, home run. And Carlton Fisk had a lot of little boy in him right there. So Fisk hit a long ball heading for the foul pole, and we watched him wave it fair for a game-winning home run. Never before had TV cameras focused on the emotion of the players. The director won an Emmy, and Louis Girardi's accidental shot changed the way you watched TV sports, thanks in part to a giant rat. And now you know the rest of us. Go rats. Go rats. <laughs> Might be waiting. Yeah, Paul, Paul Isnick, start. our uh, political analyst, is joining us. Let me a ask you, Paul, uh, a guy with his resume yeah. and experience, how do you explain him finding it so difficult to manage his message and to have a pulse of, of the city? I think what we're going to get today, by the way, Larry, is going to be a we need to learn, work together to trust the police department again. The unsaid, unrecognized elephant in the room might very well be, how about me? <laughs> Obama rides to the White House on hope and change. There are a lot of people that supported him that think, uh, that ask the question, why aren't there Wall Street bankers in jail? Do you think there should be? You know, I was as outspoken as anyone in the White House about uh, some of the things that were done on Wall Street that caused the crisis. But you can't will people to go to jail. It's because I think it's an invitation to really examine yourself, think about what role faith plays, what do you want it, what role you want it to play, and what, what gives us a sense of meaning and purpose. But what is the challenge for you as a journalist where you're typically looking at evidence and filtering yeah. it in a certain way with a certain standard, and now you have to go to religion, and uh, the standards are completely yeah, different. Yeah, I mean, I don't feel that tension as much. Republicans have called for the president to do more against ISIS. That was part of the conversation last night. And yet they've rejected the president's call to, to authorize a, a vote of force. Why is that? Well, look, I want to authorize a vote of force. Would you want your daughters to become prostitutes if you think legalized prostitution isn't that big of a deal? I'd want my daughters to do nothing. You say you, you brought up a balance of logic and creativity. Do that, yeah, that, that's I think a, that's how right. does that play out in the dynamic of Mon Monty Python? Well, there was more thought to it than you would. I mean, a lot of people think that we all did it on marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> It is 840. Uh, vacations can be less expensive if you find a way to do a little work so you can get a good tax break as a business expense. So how about this on-air story as evidence for my friends at the IRS? I just got back from Charleston and the city leaders had commissioned John Trumbull to paint a portrait of George Washington to commemorate his visit to Charleston in 1791. But they said, hey, this shows his victory at Trenton. Where's Charleston? Yeah. Well, they demanded that he redo it, and Trumbull painted it again, and he wasn't very happy about it. So he came up with this painting that hangs in City Hall now. Uh, there's Charleston uh, in, in the background. Uh, town leaders loved it, but perhaps they didn't notice Trumbull's subtle message. Let's take a closer look. Trumbull turned the horse oh, around. Mercy. So now you are looking <laughs> yeah. at his rear end. The tail is up as if the horse is about to relieve himself, and wow. look between the horse's legs. I don't want... The city leaders are on that boat underneath. <laughs> the portrait is known as Trumbull's Revenge. Wow. And now you know the rest of the story.